Hello everybody, this is Sheila with Simply Simple Creations by Sheila and today I'm taking this Dollar Tree bunny and I'm going to use this white chalk paint that I got from the Hobby Lobby and I am going to paint this bunny. I'm going to paint the front, the sides, the back um, because I want to get a nice coat on it. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. This wood grain is going to show through the white after it dries if you only put one, one um, application on and that's all I did. So I just put the one application on. Once it dries, you'll be able to see it. But then I just went around the sides. And then I even painted the back, dried it up real good for our next step. And then here's where I'm showing you. That's the back of the bunny. I wanted it to face that way too. So I didn't care if it was completely coated. It's fine. And then there's the front. And you can't really see the wood grain there, but you can in person. So once I got it all painted, I took my decoupage glue. You can use Mod Podge, whatever you have. And I just went over the whole bunny, making sure to get the edges, get all of it. Not like the outside edges, but just all over to the edge of the bunny. Does that make sense? I hope so. So anyway, once we did that, I took this beautiful napkin that I've got. They are available in a napkin bundle on my website. And I pulled all the plies off of it. Now, y'all, I did this the hard way. I should have cut this before I started, and I didn't. I used the whole napkin and stuck it on there and then smoothed it out. I got a lot of wrinkles, but we get rid of those here in a minute. And this is the wet method. I didn't wait for my Mod Podge to dry. If I would have waited for the Mod Podge to dry, I wouldn't have had so many wrinkles, but it didn't matter. It worked out just fine. I'm just trying to smooth out as many of them as I can and then going around it. And then I took my scissors and decided that that's when I would cut. And don't know why I did it this way. I don't, I'm not sure. It's just kind of the day I'm having. So, you know, do things the hard way, not the simple way. Anywho, once I was done with that, I took my little gator sander that I get from Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon. You can get them just about anywhere. I think even Timu has them now. But I went around all the edges and got all that excess paper off. Now, there was a spot here where I had to take a little nail file and get underneath the little arm of the bunny. But once I did that, I went ahead and dried it because the Mod Podge or the decoupage glue was still wet. So I dried it up and made sure that it was good and dry. And then once I did that, I laid my parchment paper down over it. You can use a Teflon sheet as well. And then I took my iron and I ironed out some of those wrinkles. I just didn't want as many as what I had in there. And there were quite a few. So just take your iron on the highest setting and go over it. And see, so you can see some of those or most of those wrinkles came out. Then I took a distressed oxide. You can use, um, sorry, I got out of focus there for a minute. You can use um, an ink pad or whatever you had. And I just went around the bunny and made sure to just get on all those edges of him just to give him a little something. And where that wouldn't fit, I have this little makeup brush that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And I just dipped it on top of that little pad and went through where I missed with the, um, with the ink pad and got in all of those places. And so this just gave it a little bit of a vintage feel, I guess, or vibe, I don't know. I didn't wanna do the whole napkin because I liked it the way it was. I just wanted to go around the edges. I tried not to get any on the sides and I probably did get a little bit, but that's okay. Then I just took a couple of pieces of this sari silk and tied it around the bunny. I did not even make a bow as you're gonna see. All I did was made like a little scarf tie. I just tied it in a knot. And that was it for this sweet little bunny rabbit. Um, again, he came from Dollar Tree, so be on the lookout for those. But here he is staged, and I just think he turned out really cute. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.